Heavy is the Crown by Linkin Park. Um, if you're seeing this video, you obviously know Linkin Park is back with a brand new vocalist, Emily Armstrong. Linkin Park is just straight up taking over the metal rock community online lately. I mean, you can't go anywhere without seeing people talk about Linkin Park. You go on YouTube, there's people talking about Linkin Park. You go on TikTok, you go on Instagram, you go anywhere, people are talking about Linkin Park. And it is a very diverse conversation, very controversial. Um, a lot of people are really happy that Linkin Park is back, and a lot of people are happy with the new vocalist in Emily Armstrong. A lot of people are really not happy and really don't like her. She's getting a lot of hate. I know there's that whole Scientologist thing and all that stuff. I haven't really looked into it, so I don't have an opinion on it, really. I kind of already gave my opinion in my reaction to um, The Emptiness Machine. If you guys want to see my reaction to The Emptiness Machine by Linkin Park, that is linked on screen right now. See, I kind of already gave my opinion on her, but just to kind of go over it again, um, I'm just happy Linkin Park is back. I like Emily's vocals. I don't think she's as iconic as Chester. No one could ever fill his shoes, but I think she's doing a damn good job, and I'm just happy to get some new music at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if it's a male singer or an amazing singer. It's, uh, it's just good music, and I think she's really talented. I mean, people might not like her or what she stands for or the fact that she's taken Chester's spot, but like as someone who likes Linkin Park, I feel like big Linkin Park fans should just be happy that they're making music again. I have seen a couple thumbnails from other reactors, which that's something that sucks about other reactors uploading before I do, is I see their thumbnails and I kind of already know what to expect, which is just unfortunate. I saw like Nick Nocturnal's thumbnail and Bogdan's thumbnail, you know. Apparently there's a, a long scream in this song. Maybe the song's heavy. People are saying like giving up 2.0 and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of unfortunate that I know what to expect in those terms, but I'm excited to check it out for myself. So yeah, guys, make sure you check out all the links down in the description. Um, follow me on social media and all that stuff. Um, without further ado, let's check out Heavy is the Crown by Linkin Park. I almost forgot. That's better. Dude, I can't wait for Arcane Season 2, man. Oh, yeah. That's Lincoln Park right there. Ooh, that melody. I'm gonna like this. I'm excited. On the floor again. There we go. The door and then we both know how the story ends. You can't win if your white flags out when the war begins. Aim so high, but swinging so low. Trying to catch that bass so in the pod inside and hope it won't show. I'm saying it's not, but inside I know it's gonna be the day you notice. Cause I'm tired. This is classic LP. This is what you ask for. Heavy is the crowd. Fire in the sunrise. Ashes raining down. She's got that grit again, man. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been really upset about Emily's live vocals. I've been seeing a lot of people just talking shit about her not sounding very good live. Um, I've seen, like, clips here and there. I don't think she sounds bad. Obviously, like, most singers and vocalists sound better in studio than they do live. That's just a known fact that's just how it kind of works from what i've seen she's not bad live i think she you know people have pointed out like a few voice cracks and stuff like that but she's not bad i don't i don't i don't really get it and like people are talking about how she's all auto-tune every singer uses auto-tune and she doesn't it's not overused you don't hear a lot of pitch correction in the studio song so i don't know why people are even complaining about that i'm already loving this this has classic lp vibes to it, it honestly this sounds like it could be on meteora or hybrid theory it's got that you know that mic rapping and that instrumental it's just so good and that chorus man that chorus is great let's go let's get back into it turn to run now look what it's become out number 10 to 1 back then should have bit your tongue because there's no turning back this path once it's begun you're already on that list so you don't want what you can't resist waving that sword when the pen won't miss watch it all falling apart like this this is what you ask for heavy is the crowd fire in the sunrise ashes raining down try to hold it in but it keeps bleeding I love 
love this video. Was sick. Oh, little interlude here. That was a good stream. That was pretty long. This is what you asked for. Heavy is the crowd. Fire in the sunrise. Ashes raining down. Try to hold it in, but it keeps bleeding out. This is what you asked for. Heavy is the guys that was heavy is the crown by lincoln park um i really enjoyed that i think off the bat i'm gonna say i like the emptiness machine more that might just because i've been listening to it a lot and have had more time to grow with it but just based off this first listen of heavy is the crown i think i like the emptiness machine more um which is odd because this has a little bit more of a heavy edge to it and i just think i don't know i think emptiness machine was just better written it just flows better in my opinion and I just enjoyed the chorus and like pretty much the whole vibe of that song more. And it has more of an impact being the first song back as this new version of Linkin Park. This is super sick. Catchy as fuck chorus. I love the rapping from Mike has those old school Linkin Park vibes. Um, I liked the little riff down with Emily's long scream. It was a fucking, it was a long scream. It was cool. I could definitely see how some fans are going to be upset that it seems like she's trying to like one up chester or something like that and like give a long scream but i think it's like more of an ode to chester in one of like his most iconic moments so um i, I think that's pretty fucking cool and she nailed it yeah guys let me know what you guys thought about this song down in the comments down below while you're down there let me know which song you guys like more the emptiness machine or heavy is the crown i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for future lincoln park reactions i will be doing a full album reaction to this album once it's out and i'll be checking out any other singles that comes out so if you guys want to see more lincoln park reactions make sure you subscribe and turn post notifications on and all that stuff thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the future. This is